And this is canvas mode. You gotta record it through GoPro because it doesn't work through the DVR. So, it means I'm gonna be running or flying uh, in line of sight and angle mode. So, good luck. We'll see how that goes. There you go. How about that? So yeah, been waiting on the uh, canvas mode to come out, and I don't know if it's really out. It's uh, there's a config video. Sorry, I'm trying to undo this. Um, there is a config video out there. Uh, it's in French, uh, and I will leave a link to that. You can uh, turn on captions, and then. Uh, I, then there's a translate button that you can translate it to English, tra translate the captions to English. So and it's pretty broken, of course, because it's the translation's pretty bad. But uh, so yeah, you can uh, you can at least get it running. The thing is, you don't have any. Uh, you have DVR out to the goggles, but it doesn't include the OSD. It's, it's just like the old DVR. So uh, it sounds like they may be working on that. If you read some of the documents, it says that it's almost impossible for them to do it. But then. Other people are saying they're doing it, so we'll see if that comes out in the next couple of months uh, that you can actually record to the DVR or at least even do the video out. I just say the thing I can't do if it, there's two different modes, you like switch modes uh, into this mode, uh, which you saw on the screen, it's all you know blocky, all the other DJI menus are gone, or you switch back into the DJI menus. When I'm in the DJI me menus, I can do video out, uh, of course, without OSD, but whenever I'm switched into the MSP OSD, their, their menus, um, then I can't do video out using the video app, the hack app. So uh, hopefully they're going to get all that working. Because um, I like to I always, as you've seen in my videos, always put up the fake OSD, the recreated OSD, um, just to kind of give that feel, just like what I see in the goggles. Um, I've always preferred that rather than the, you know, nice, pretty, uh, freestyle, no OSD. <laughs> I like the I like the pilot view. Um, so kind of looking forward, hoping that they eventually release that, uh, that you can have it on your DVR or to the video out, and then I could record it on a tablet, something of that sort. Um, it's pretty easy to do this. Uh, if you watch the video, the config, you basically just go to that testing.wtf-fpv.fpv site, I think it is, something like that, um, and. It's just a couple clicks, really, and you wait and you try to keep your Vista cool. Um, I'm using one of those shirt fans to keep my Vista cool, and I've also done area units. So I've done two Vistas and one area unit. Uh, not too many problems. Uh, this last one on the on the trash can, maybe it overheated or something. I'm not sure. It did. Uh, uh, it's, it failed on the root, one of the step five of the root, and it wouldn't go past that. I just closed the browser, came back, did it again, and it all went through fine. So. Um, and just made sure to up my fan speed because I was running on low. So yeah, I don't know if that was power or fan or why it, why it didn't work, but it worked the second time. And as you see, it just worked. So uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. It it, it is easy. Um, I haven't had any trouble with it except for that little little quirk, and and of course the things that don't work. So um, one other thing, you have to reboot. Basically, every time your goggles come up. It comes up in the DJI menu and you switch over to the other menu and that's fine because if then you power cycle your quad when that quad comes up it's going to switch to 25 megabit or 30 megabit mode um, so you have to go back into the DJI menu then back into the into the OSD menu or, or the canvas mode and then that gets you back onto the 60 megabit which if you saw that in the corner of the screen it, it, it was showing 60 megabit so it's a mode that they've created I don't know how much better it is um, if it really, if you really notice a difference in the quality or not, but it shows it as 60 megabit. So your 25 becomes 30, and your 50 becomes 60 megabit. Um, yeah, I don't. Again, I'm trying to think of any other quirks that I saw. Mostly, it's the recording and the rebooting, and the fact that you can't do video out. So, you know, 
Uh, it is cool because, as you saw in this video, there's a, I put the throttle position. Uh, I've always had to guess since DJI what my throttle position is if I didn't have um, if I didn't have black box. And so then when you're trying to set like a throttle curve, especially on these whoops inside, I usually set like a really flat spot in my throttle. I, you know, set expo, so it creates a really flat spot right at the at the kind of cruise height, um, cruise throttle. So I had to kind of guess. Whereas now I'll be able to just switch to the MSP mode or the canvas mode and uh, watch my throttle whenever I'm cruising and say, okay, there I can set my. The other thing uh, you saw I put on there, the motor speeds, I, I, I'm hoping that'll help with, uh, again, when you don't have black box, it'll help, help with uh, tuning. So you can kind of do some calculations based on the motor speeds to kind of figure out what frequencies maybe you're cruising at and causing oscillations. Maybe, maybe it'll help, I don't know exactly, but we'll see if that helps. Uh, just more data is always better, so. Uh, now you can get all the data and the menus. Uh, that I haven't tried the stick menus yet, but uh, they say they work. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It's you know got a little ways to come. I'm not sure if, how much I want to stay on it or not, but I'm gonna fly it for a week, a couple weeks or something. Um, it also brings up whether you know, like I've always wanted the OSD, and so then. Uh, the new DJI goggles may or may not come with uh, canvas mode. We've all been asking for it for a long time, so maybe they've done it. There's, you know, two different uh, camps of thought out there about what DJI is, whether or not they care about us or not. We'll see um, if they come out with the canvas mode. Uh, I'm still leaning toward the DJI goggles, the new ones, the the goggles too, um, just because I, I guess I'm a stickler for video quality. I always fly in HQ mode and I want 1080p. And that would be the main reason I'd go to those goggles. It would be for the 1080p. And I'm just pretty sure that DJI is going to do better at 1080p than Avatar is, at least for the near foreseeable future. But then you get, okay, well, what about a year down the road? Uh, does Avatar get theirs just right? And then uh, they have canvas mode and um, nice 1080p. But then the other thing is, is DJI possibly quite likely has the backwards compatibility with my current quads. So I can use my new goggles with old quads, plus, you know, a new quad with the DJI version three air unit with 1080p. So yeah, right now I'm leaning toward the DJI's, but we'll see, we'll see what comes out. How, I, you know, I'm gonna wait for the reviews. I'm not gonna pre-order anything stupid like that. Wait for the reviews, wait to see what it looks like. Um, and wait till I have the money ready, because <laughs> it's a lot of money. We'll see what they do on the pricing. It's supposed to be like 650, so we'll see about that. Um, yep. So, hope you enjoyed that crash flight, uh, and uh, maybe you can try it out. I'll, I'll put the, I'll put the link in the window about how to do it.